Hello YouTube, today I'm going to try to show you quickly the difference between using filters and creating a table in Excel, why you might choose one over the other. So you can see here on this filters tab down here, I have a table of information on Bigfoot sightings on the table tab. I have the exact same information, uh, but formatted as a table. You can see I can do the same things on both. I could filter this down to just sightings in the summer here and do the same thing here. There we go, it's just our summer sightings. I could sort this by state. So I've got all the same filtering and sorting options in both. Uh, but the advantages to a filter are a couple things. The first is I can add a totals row. So let's say I wanted to do some quick aggregation of this data. On the table, I can just right click anywhere on the table. In this menu that pops up, I can select this table menu and then do totals row. And then down here, it inserted this totals row for me, which means if I want to quickly see what the average high temperature was, I can just select that box. Same for mid temperature average. The filter does not give me that option. I don't even have the table menu. So another big advantage of tables is that they it gives it a name. It lets you sort of define it and reference that object in other parts of your spreadsheet. You know, you, you could define a name of the range for this one with the filters uh, and do the same thing. But at that point, you've applied filters and defined the range. You could have done it in one step by just making it a table. What I mean by giving it a name is I can now, for example, I can come up here select table two and it'll automatically navigate to that table and highlight it for me. Also, I could come over here, do a formula. Uh, let's say median. And then instead of referencing a sheet and a column, I can just say table two, it'll pop up there. See, it highlights it for me. It's offering me to insert table two. And then I can just do an open bracket and it'll bring up this list of fields in my table. So let's scroll down. Let's get the median moon phase. I can hit tab to select that. Close my bracket, close my parentheses and see their table two moon phase. And that'll give me the median value of that column. So those are the two big differences between a table and using filters. And uh, hopefully that was helpful for you.